Hey, so hello everyone. I want to share with you all the options that are available in the podcast software that you've been using. So thank you for once in all coming on my show and being a guest. Um, I am giving you all this guys for your benefit. This is going to benefit me of course, but benefit you more to help you promote yourself. So that's the bottom line is you come on podcasts to promote yourself. So I want to encourage you and help you do that. So here we go. I am going to show you step-by-step step on some of the features that have been added so you can start using them. And if you don't use them, uh, they will be taken away from you. So if I see people have not put stuff in, um, I'll be back backing those out and then you'll have to pay for them. So right now you're getting them for free. So here we go. I'm going to log in as a customer or a client or a guest, whatever you want to call it. Log in. Here's your messy looking dashboard. Um, there's so much to put on it, so I'm not sure what, where and what everything's going to go here. So the bottom line is if you want to be a guest for the first or second time, you click here. These are your episodes that are currently in the process. So whether they've been recorded or they're being recorded, they would show up right here. Okay. I have a lot of test ones in here, so I apologize for that. So down here is some more information on stuff that's out there, uh, messy, and don't look at it right now. Okay. So what I'm trying to share with you guys is here is how you add content to your existing podcast. So if I said you need to add content, go to add content, click on this blue thing right here, click. And in here, you will be editing it. So you have a number of different features here. Okay. And okay, I want to make sure I'm in the right account. So obviously it's a new podcast is to send an email to us at the administration this is to send us a message I message blah 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 all the way down the line um, right here is your website so essentially this would pop up your website which then looks like this oh that's my podcast one this is what it looks like so everybody gets a website like this so your episode number will go up there your offer link right here your headline all that stuff that you filled in your video pops up right here okay all that stuff is showing up nicely here, okay? So, what we need to do now is, now that you have all your information here, you can click edit here or edit up here, edit your episode to get to all your content. Fill all this stuff in nicely. Now, this is gonna be going away right here, this headache that everybody's been having, trying to fill all that in, and it's timing out on them. I'm gonna show you how that's gonna be replaced to in a lot easier way to do that. But bottom line is, that's where you edit all of this content for now. Hopefully this will be changed by the time you get to it. So I'm gonna hit cancel, but that's how you get there. Also, your episode notes are right here. I wanna point that out too. So this is for you. Of course, we use it when I do my episode with you, but there's your pre-checklist, all the stuff about you. This is not branded with Cody Dog or, or 5-Minute Bark. It's just basically your stuff. It pulls in your picture, all your information. This is private information. This is not shared on the web. This is something you can take the link, copy and paste the link, and send it to any podcaster, and they will have all the great information on you. So everything I've been including here is the effective stuff, okay? Mine's not fill out because it's a dummy one. But all the effective stuff that would make a podcast interview effective in most podcasts. Not everyone, but most podcasts, okay? So it's simple for them to read. If you send them a bio that's all pretty and fancy, it's all great and all, but they want us, They just want the cut and dry information when they're recording. So this kind of helps them out, okay, from a podcaster standpoint. Next is your library. You've got several libraries now. Okay, you have your podcast library, your content library, and your story builder. Let's start with your podcast library. This is not your podcast for the five-minute bark. This is the podcast you've been on over and beyond the five-minute bark. So I've been on all these different podcasts here, okay? So if I delete that one, I always obviously. So these are all the podcasts I have been on. Okay. So you're going to go in here and choose the ones that you've been on. So you click add. And if the podcast is not list, listed in this drop down, you will send me an email. I'll put a little thing here, send email regarding this. And you pick the one you want. So I was on Entrepreneur on Fire. And if it's not showing up above, you can type it in here for now. So we can go into it later. If they have a video, you're going to put the video URL in there. So in this case, um, let's take this, copy that URL, 
paste it in here. Now you're just gonna put the code. So all that right here goes away. Just the code of the video goes here. A little tricky. Audio link. This right here is going to be the actual um, the actual file. So in the case of mine, I use Lipson. So the Lipson URL, the download URL is right here. Okay. And I got so many windows open because I want to make this simple and easy for you. So that would go right here. Podcast audio link. Boom. This one is for iTunes. So I made a little tool here. You search. It'll basically search on iTunes for that podcast for you to help you. Um, but you first have to save this information for it to know what podcast you're on because right now it doesn't know. You're just you're adding in. So you go in, add the podcast, and then go reopen it and then click that link. It'll work. And oh, it finds this. So here, go to this, find your episode, search for it here, go to the place where it says price, get copy link. Okay. Paste that link there. And you want to rate the podcast. So in your in your mind, so it's yeah, one of my favorites. So it's a five star. You can also put notes. So I the host told me this. Um, I talked about this. Anything you want to put as far as notes right here. So type them in and add podcast. So now that'll show up here. It'll pull in the images, who hosted the podcast, the name of the podcast here. It'll play it from here and it'll play it from there. And you can always go in and see more details on it. So there's it is right there. And if they had a video, it's going to show up right there. Boom. Okay. So um, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. You can play your episode here. All right. Hello, Alana Pratt here. So, right, you got that there, and your notes will show up down there. So that's the podcast thing. Now, the reason I'm help doing this is, one, I ran into situations where I could not find all the podcasts that I was on, and I heard this from so many of my guests. I don't even know what I'm on and where they are and all that stuff. So this is a library for you to have them. But even better, even better is these podcasts are going to show up on your page that we developed for you. If I can find it, I have so many open here. All right. So I'll just go back. Um, I got so many of them here. So many pages open. Um, it is okay. So if you go to my episodes, uh, my episodes and here they are, let's go to this one, go to your guest page. Okay. So all this is going to load up nice here. At the bottom, now all these pay, all these will show up here. Also seen on these podcasts. So they listen to podcasts in the five-minute bar, great. They watch your video, great. But now maybe they want to see more. Maybe you did something, talked about something else different somewhere else. So they can go see all of them here. All the podcasts you are on will show up down here. All right. This is no like five-minute bark is better than anybody else. No, we're sharing everybody else's podcast in here. And as of right now, I'm allowing people to put their podcasts in for free, but I'll probably start charging 25 or 100 bucks for them to be in the directory. So they better hurry up and get on that. So that's that. Next is your content library. So as I said before, the content you were putting in before and it's a total headache, we've created a separate library for you to put them into. But even better, we'll want to make this content very efficient based on your tribe, based on who you're speaking to, and I wanted to help you with that. So plus sign again. You're going to decide what section you're writing. Okay. So I am going to write a headline. Okay. So this headline is blah, 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 blah. And the style of writing on this, well, there's no style. Well, this, this one's kind of aggressive. I want this to be very aggressive or it's love-based or it's emotionally based or fear-based or positive. Okay. Let's just say it's positively based. And this five-star rating thing here uh, is there's something coming in the future that's going to help uh, utilize this right here. But basically, of course, we want to give it a five-star. Or maybe you think, ah, it's just so-so for right now, so I need help with it. Add a comment. And so now it's going to show up in here. Okay? So that's the one I just enters down here. But I'm just going to show you from the top. So writing style, aggressive. This one's particularly a description. Here I'm going to give you writing advice on how to do this. So episode description, short paragraph, you know, there's going to be more details in that one. Uh, some of them aren't all in here yet. So, you know, so for 
for example, on this one, uh, credentials. So feature your podcast, blah, blah, blah. You can read the, them. But even better, once it's into the system, okay, you can go and edit it. And now there'll be an instructor for each section of these. So in this case, the description, Dennis Langlais has chosen to be the instructor. So you click on this video, this person's going to tell you how... That person's going to tell you how to my, write an effective description. So is that awesome or what? So this person, Dennis Langley is an instructor. So in the case of, you know, Benny and the Jets, you can contact them. So, you know, I really love how this person works with people and creates content. You can contact them, hire them if you want to hire them, or maybe even they might do a free coaching call with you on, hey, on this certain, certain subject and you're off to the races. So again, you can write different writing styles. All right. And you have the option to select different segments and put them all together. So eventually all those segments will be in here. So why would I do this? Going back to your five minute bark episode here, maybe you don't have testimonies. Maybe you don't want a client success example. You're going to be able to opt in or decide what goes on this page based on the content you wrote. Okay, so I maybe want an aggressive headline, but I want a love-based section here. And maybe I want another page just like this for, you know, a Catholic community or a, you know, a bunch of coaches or maybe some sports athletes. I want to be, you know, peak performance driven. So all these different things, you can essentially create different types of dynamics for pages and it's a freaking amazing, right? This is absolutely amazing. Different offer links. You can do distant testimonials. You can even add different, um, you can even add videos, YouTube videos on here as well. So you see this YouTube video links, actually testimonial URL links, sorry. So add testimonial URLs. So the videos will pop up. Really, really cool stuff. So I hope you understand the value of this right here. Um, essentially, you'll be able to swap out different content and this will also be available for other podcasts. So if you've been on another podcast besides the five minute bark and you want to create a page to promote that one, you will be able to do that as well. Pretty cool stuff. Lastly, and the most important one of this all, and people don't pay enough attention to it, is your story builder. Okay. I spent a good three, six weeks developing my story. It's still satisfactory because I'm not really that good of a writer and I can't spell, but you already know that already because you probably find 100 million misspells in this thing. But um, action taken. If you look at my 5minutebark.com website, I've got my my video myself here, blah, blah, blah. I got my host, blah, blah, blah. All my offers, my featured on, all right, blah, 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 all the way down. At the very bottom, I have my story, my backstory. And... Essentially, same thing with this, you have a backstory, you have, you know, your claim to pain, your pain, your, all these different, your burning desire, your courage, how you, your epiphany, and all these different things that, that come within your story, your conflict, your achievement, your transformation. Well, why don't we help you build out your story? So, same thing with your content, you're now able to build out your story here. So your attractive character, your inner journey, your struggle, your fear to courage, your storyline, your achievement, conflict, epiphany, plan, transformation, wall, backstory, and desires. Create separate content for this. Add it to the, the library. And again, you can go in here and look at it, and there will be an instructor here also here to help you with this component. How can we describe our attractive character? How can we describe our epiphany? Okay. Pretty damn cool stuff. Now your story is very, very important and more, finding out more and more that business derives off your history and your story. In fact, it's been tested over and over on stage that if you talk about sports and then you talk about your relationship and you talk about, um, your struggle, you'll be acquiring more, more followers to your leader. So it's very important to have your story Day, dialed in and detailed and when you go on podcasts it's certainly important to have that clarified and memorized and known inside and out so a lot of us 
don't really know our own story. So this is gonna help you build your story. So with that said, these are the features that are currently available. If you do not use them, you will lose them and you will be charged going forward. So I'm giving them to you now because you're in beta. So if I don't see that you've added any content, um, you will now lose that. It will essentially won't show up here on your, your feed and you'll lose it. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's really cool to be able to offer this to you guys here today. This is one heck of a piece of software that's going to only get better from here on out. I apologize for all the kinks and stuff like that, but I think it's working pretty good now. So we got a couple of few more bugs to work out that we're aiming to get done this week. But right here, right now, this is it. Enjoy, everybody.